Close your eyes, watch your breath, and watch the mind watching the breath. Make sure it stays, because that's the whole purpose of the meditation. We're not here to become expert breathers. We want to become expert with regard to the mind, because the mind has its diseases, greed, aversion, and delusion. We have to learn how to build up resistance to these diseases, first to catch them when they come. As with any disease, it's easier to treat it when you got it at the first stages. All too often, we're aware of these diseases only when they're fully blown. Which is one of the reasons why the Buddha said the treatment starts by noticing when they arise, what's causing them, what sparks them. You could trace back for causes to your childhood, but he says he's more interested in what's sparking it right now. And then bring out your, your medicine, the medicine that builds up your resistance. Because you have your own greed, aversion, and delusion, and you're living in a world where everybody else has greed, aversion, and delusion, with only a few exceptions. And it's very easy for us to pass the germs around. So you want to make sure you don't pick up other people's germs, and that you don't pass them around to other people. Try to treat people with as much fairness as you can, so you're not spreading the germs. And as for whatever else other people may do, you learn how to forgive them. This way, we have some, you might call it social distancing, but you're distancing yourself from your diseases. And you're trying to catch them in time. The more you can catch them in time, the less likely it will be to spread around to other people. So your treatment of your disease is good not only for you, but also for everybody else. So watch your mind. The reason we focus on the breath is if you simply say, watch the mind, you could be all over the place watching it. You could watch it as it travels here, travels there, goes up, goes down, becomes skillful, becomes unskillful. But that doesn't accomplish much, just tracing it around like that. You're trying to bring it to one spot and see how well it can stay at one spot. And then you can catch any tiny movements. You can see what sparks them because it's happening right here. It's in this, in this way that you get some disease control inside. And as you control your own diseases, it makes life a lot easier for everybody else. So treat other people with forgiveness and fairness. And be strict with your own mind. And that's how the cure is brought about.